So this is uh, part of the extra 20 billion a year that the Prime Minister promised. Is it is it a breakfast a Brexit dividend that we're a seeing? Breakfast a breakfast dividend. dividend. <laughs> is it a Brexit <laughs> dividend, Matt? Well, the good thing about the, uh, the the deal that's been negotiated is it means that we will end the uh, these vast uh, payments to the EU. Uh, but the the money has been uh, committed. Uh, it's uh, taxpayers' money ultimately, and it's twenty billion pounds going to the NHS. It's the public's number one. Uh, spending priority and three and a half billion of it will go to community and primary services to try to help keep people out of hospital in the first place. Well, hang on, we've got to spend 39 million at least, uh, 39 billion, but if only it was 39 million, uh, billion at least uh, on a divorce bill. That's if the deal goes through. Uh, the Office for Budget Responsibility your own independent forecasters say the idea of a Brexit dividend is basically hogwash because, actually, um, that money just won't be available. Universally slammed by econo economists as grossly misleading, the government's own projections suggest Brexit is already weakening the public finances rather than strengthening them. Any fiscal gains from zero EU payments will be wiped out by more feeble tax returns. When is this actually going to work out for us? Well, the money for the NHS comes on stream in April. I, the, the budget uh, earlier this month, uh, the, um, the Chancellor made clear that that money is in, uh, in the Red Book and it's in the budget. Over the next five years, we're putting £20 billion extra into the NHS. And the announcement today is how we're going to spend £3.5 billion of that to help people in the community to keep people out of hospital in the first place. The NHS is basically uh, don't have the staff to do this. District nurses, nurses have halved since 2010. Mm. Community nursing staff has dropped by 15% overall. We know the NHS has got over 100,000 unfilled posts at the moment. 41,722... Uh, Jobs, we are short of nurses. It's 10% of the workforce. So you might be giving a little bit more money towards this, but where's the staff that are going to actually implement this? Well, that's an incredibly important part of the long-term plan that we're writing with the NHS is to make sure that we have the workforce in place to deliver it. I mean, you know, when you spend more money on a big service... Uh, like the NHS, then, of course, you need the people to deliver the service. And we're putting £20 billion extra in, so, of course, we're going to need more people to deliver. After all, when we spend taxpayers' money on the NHS, about 70%, about, about two-thirds, just over two-thirds of that money goes on... Uh, on staff. Uh, that is more or less, you know, what the NHS is. It's, of course, there's buildings, but it's, uh, it's mostly uh, the, the, the people who work in it. Um, so, absolutely, we've got a, uh, a, a need for, uh, for more GPs, uh, for more nurses, more, more community staff, and this big focus that we're putting on an increased proportion of the NHS budget going on community services, services that are designed specifically to keep people out of hospital in the first place. This is all about making sure that the NHS is sustainable uh, for the long term and people get the, the treatment they need where, they, uh, where it's best for them rather yeah. than always having to okay. go to hospital. All of this presumably contingent on getting this deal through because no. the alternative surely is no deal and, you know, the finances just being in chaos, no? No. The money for the NHS is, uh, it is guaranteed uh, no matter what the uh, Brexit deal is. Uh, and um, now, of course, it, it is important that we get this deal through. I think it's a good deal. Um, the Prime Minister made further progress on it uh, last night. And, when you say um, she made further progress on it... Mm. What is the progress? Because the EU had said, well, negotiations are over and we're not going to shift uh, at all. So um, can you give us an insight into what progress she's going to get on it and how she's going to get it through Parliament? Well, because well, that's the critical bit in December, isn't it? The, the progress uh, that has been being worked on this week is on the future partnership. Uh, the part that's uh, uh, agreed is the withdrawal agreement, as it's called, which is essentially, you know, how we... And technically leave um, the bit so despite that I... the fact that you've got five people around that cabinet table who are who do not like that withdrawal agreement and would like her to tweak it that is definitely 
done. That's well, the, not going to change. The, the part of the, um, the whole package that the Prime Minister has been uh, working on is what the future partnership looks like. And this is about how we have a future relationship with the EU and also allowing for stronger trade deals around the rest of the world and is essentially what's going to define our, our, our future relationship yes, over the long do term. That. She cannot do that until this withdrawal agreement is signed off. And it might even get signed off by the EU, but it's got to get through Parliament, hasn't it? So are you... But, but there's no chance of changing it. So I'm just really confused about how you're going to get a withdrawal agreement that does not have a majority in the House of Commons through the House of Commons unless she makes some changes to it which will make people vote for it. Well, the, the, the whole package includes the work that's being negotiated this week on the future relationship. And as I say, it's the future relationship element of this uh, deal which will define our relationship with the EU for the, for the years and the decades to come. The withdrawal agreement is about how we, uh, how we leave. And the whole thing will be a go to Parliament uh, as a uh, as a package. Now, I think that it is a I think it's a good deal. As you say, there are you know if it doesn't go through, whether we end up with a no deal or a second referendum is impossible to know. And I think that everybody should vote for the deal because I think that it is in the it's in the national interest. Well, now we're going to get some more we're going to get some more detail Sorry. on it. Did you just uh, say that, this week? Did you just say it's impossible to know whether we'd have a second referendum? I th it's impossible to know what would happen because part because there are many many different views. You As know, a member either... of the government, are you suggesting that we could have a second referendum on the de on this withdrawal deal? No, I don't want that to happen. What I'm saying is, but you're not could... ruling that out. Well, I'm certainly ruling out me supporting it. What I'm saying is that it's impossible to know what would happen uh, in Parliament, what people would vote for. People should vote for this deal because it gives certainty and it's a good deal that both delivers on the results of the referendum, ends freedom of movement, yet also maintains a strong economic relationship with the EU through, in the future. If she doesn't get it through Parliament in December, do you think a second referendum is a possibility? Well, I don't want to see that. I think that a second referendum would be uh, terrible. I think it would be incredibly divisive. You know, th think of how divisive uh, the, the debate about Brexit has been over the last uh, few years. Uh, for a second referendum, that would be even worse. But it wouldn't be decisive either, because, you know, if... if, if, if if, you, if the system had rejected the result of the first referendum, why should people accept the result of the second? So I'm dead set against a second referendum. I think that it, it's a complete mistake. Is, uh, is no deal still a possibility? Could we crash out without a deal at all if it doesn't get through? Well, Parliament? if this vote... Um, if this deal uh, isn't supported in Parliament then the legislation then leads to no deal unless there's further action. Now, I also think no deal uh, is uh, not a good idea. Um, and it, it, therefore, <laughs> I, I strongly support the deal. So I support the deal, okay. not only because I think it's a good deal, but also because the alternatives are much, much worse.